Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is unique paths. So the question says a robot is located at the top left corner of a M by N grid marked start in the diagram below. So as you can see, this is the robot which is marked at the start. The robot can only move either down, that is in this direction or right, that is in this direction at any point in time. The robot is trying to reach the bottom right corner of the grid marked finish in the diagram below. So this is where the robot needs to come at the end. How many possible unique paths are there, right? So we just need to find out how many different ways in which the robot can reach the finish from the start while moving either downwards or to the right. Okay. So the above is a seven by three grid, that is three rows and seven columns. How many possible unique paths are there? So it has given an example, like if, if for example, the number of M and N is three comma two, then the output would be three because, because the robot can only move downwards or to the right. So these are the three possible combinations in which the robot can reach from the start to the finish. And for example, for these values, it would be 28. Okay, constraints are that it's guaranteed that the answer would be less than or equal to this number and M and M would always be in a range of one or 100. Okay, so I think this is a very clear example of a problem which is like, which is dynamic programming problem. And we need to just figure out what is the sub problem that we can solve here, which can help us reach to our final solution. Okay. So if we start thinking about the finish, right? So whatever way or whatever path the robot takes, it can reach this particular block only through this, this, or this, these three blocks right because these are the adjacent ones and then if we try to find out what are the number of ways in which the robot can reach these three blocks essentially that will give us the number of ways to reach finish right so this is the clue that we for each block we go on finding the number of unique paths for the robot to reach that block. And then we use that result to keep on adding up until we reach the finish block. Okay. And for each block, we have to just keep one constraint in mind that the robot can come from any of the other adjacent blocks to this block only if it is moving downward or rightwards. So for example, for this entire first row, and the entire first column, the number of ways robot can come would be one. Because any of these blocks, it can only come in one direction because if it reaches this but this second row, it cannot move upwards, right? And similarly, this, this column, so if it reaches, for example, this block, then it cannot move to the left, right? So entire row and the first column, the first row and the first column, there are only one single way in which the robot can reach these blocks. So with that, we'll just start with creating a DP array and then we'll go on using those values for all the other blocks and then finally get our answer. So let's get started with implementation and I think it will get better. Okay. So we just need a same uh, sized array. So we'll just name it DP and mm, okay. So we've got, we have to create a two dimensional array, right? Of the size M and N. Okay. So we don't need any base conditions here because the question says that M and N are between 1 and 100. So it's a valid input already. So we don't need to spend any time doing that. Um, as I said, for the first row and the first column, 
it would be always one so we'll just initialize that first plus plus and all we have to do is to just okay so and zero right so that gives us all of our rows and the first column right so we just want to assign it with one similarly equals to zero and i less than n and I plus plus, right? And we just have to do like the first row and all the columns. So that is also one. Okay, so we have just done the base set for, for, for our array. All that we have to do now is to just start from this particular block, right? One comma one and traverse all the blocks in the matrix and determine a value for it okay so we'll just quickly write this for loop okay and then just traversing the matrix so okay, okay. so obviously if I have to say that the DP of this block, right? So as we just spoke, that it could either come from the block above it or from the block to the left of it because it cannot move diagonally. So we will never consider an I, I minus one, J minus one case because that would be the diagonal block. So all we have to do here is to just take the block on the left and the block on the above it right so oh sorry okay so, and just add the number of ways that the robot has been able to reach these blocks and that should give us the answer so now uh, we since we need to return the number of ways it can reach the finish all we have to return is just dp of m minus 1 j uh, n minus 1 because that's the last block right okay sorry about this guys yeah okay hmm. okay so um, this looks good. Let's try to run it. Okay, and let's submit it. All right. So the time complexity for this is clearly O of M N because we are just traversing all the elements once. And the space complexity is also O of M by N because we are using a DP array of the size of the given matrix. So I really hope that you find this video helpful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care guys.